my hands, dirty money, is it worth it? Stacking cash bundles, counting twenty, fifties, hundreds. The world is mine. I take it how I earned it, and I did it all on purpose. I'm the king of circles. Smooth is the business. Yeah, I'm forever hustling. Snakes and rats clocking earnings. They be hating. They be know I'm working. My life, I be living. I'm reaping my riches. I'm the king of circles. I'm the king of circles. King of circles. Novel by King Double. Chapter 7. Wrong time, worst place. The sports bar on 22nd Avenue was a small bar. You could say this was the demon's hangout. More crime deals were handled here than any other place on the south side. The police did not even bother driving by this place. They did not want to get involved. Or should I say, they were paid not to get involved. The owner of this bar paid well to keep his establishment off of the radar. Keon and Wyatt are on their third game of pool. Wyatt has won all three. Keon is getting frustrated about losing 500 bucks. Outside of the bar, by the front door, Zeno is still on the phone flirting with China. Three bikers throttle into the parking lot. The first biker was a Spanish chick with a pink mohawk. Zeno noticed her because she fist-tailed into the parking lot and rock and roll. She was singing her lungs out. When she got off her hog, he saw that this pink-haired rocker chick had an awesome body. Her leather biker jacket and leather miniskirt gave her a rough and sexy appeal. Zeno thought she looked hardcore with a seductive S&M style. He was turned on. She noticed him looking at her. She dismounted her cone rider and walks past Zeno deliberately. Zeno forgets about China and puts his phone on mute. What's up? What's your name? Hi, my name is Serafina. You are cute. I'm Zeno. My friends call me Zay. Are you from around here? Let me buy you a drink. You must be new. The cute outsider wants to buy me a drink. Huh? Outsider? What makes you say that? Serafina smiles, a wicked smile, but does not answer. She just keeps going, shaking and twisting her hips, walking towards the bar. She knew Zeno was watching, and she was intending on keeping his attention. Zeno watched two choppers come in behind her, Frego and Thriller. Frego was in front. Zeno figured that he looked like a young Hispanic boy, no older than 16 if that. The other biker was Thriller. Zeno figured that he was a fighter or bodyguard of some kind. Clean cut, lean muscular black dude. He had the look of a contract killer. Zeno knew that he definitely was someone you did not want to be caught alone with that night. Serafina stops and stands at the door scanning the place for anyone looking familiar. She sees nobody of importance. Frago and Thriller are still outside walking into the bar. They walk in past her and pick the spot in the back of the bar. Serafina walks in the opposite direction to the bar stool across from where Keon and Wyatt were playing pool. Damn, this spot is lame, Serafina says looking around. I could be doing something else. <laughs> Serafina's coke from earlier was really starting to kick in. She was ready to do something. Instead, her brother insisted on coming to this bar. They always come to this bar. Why couldn't they go to a nice place like Eric? Oh, poor Eric. Serafina turns to the crowd and asks herself under her breath, Why do we always come to this rundown club? <laughs> Serafina turns around and calls for the bartender. Babe, excuse me, miss. Can I get a cranberry vodka and gin with a twist of lemon? Make it strong, please. Ken walks to the bar stool next to her with his back turned to her. He calls the same bartender. Excuse me, bartender. Let me get two Heineken's, baby. Keon turns around and looks at Serafina. Damn, bitch, you fine as hell. Serafina looks disgusted. Excuse me? Keon said it again. I said, damn, bitch, you look fine as hell. Serafina is now offended. Do you know who I am? That is no way to talk to a lady. Keon smiles. Look, baby, I know a fine bitch when I see one. I'm not from around here. I'm in town on some business. And when I get done, I want you to be my bitch. 
Keon Lee's in closer with your fine ass. Serafina is not turned on by Keon's response. She says with anger building up, first off, back out of my face. She pushes him away. And second, I'm not your nor anyone else's bitch. You got me fucked up. Serafina turns her back on Keon and then says to herself out loud, Ugh, fucking bullshit. Why do I even let them talk me into coming to this place? To be harassed by a disrespectful fuck nigga? Keon heard her last words. What you say, bitch? Serafina turns around and says it again slowly so he can hear her. Disrespectful fuck nigger. Keon snaps. Fuck you, Mohawk bitch. Keon jumps in Serafina's face. Serafina is not scared. She does not budge. Serafina looks Keon square in his eyes and says calmly, fuck nigga, I wish you would. Wyatt looks up from the pool table and see Keon arguing with the woman. He runs over there to break it up. Wyatt stands in between them and pulls Keon's arm. Come on, man, have some respect. That's a lady. Keon says, bitch, you lucky, as he raises his hand at her, ready to slap her. Wyatt sees this and grabs Keon's hand. Drop, drop, man, you tripping. At the table across the bar, Frego and Thriller are just receiving their drinks from the waiters. Frego noticed the commotion coming from where Serafina was standing. What the hell is going on over there? Frego stands up. Thriller looks up. Man, calm down. It's nothing. Serafina's probably flirting with him. Frego looks harder. No, not from here it doesn't. She looked like she about to stab one of them. Let's break it up. Thriller stops him. No. Grabbing Frego's arm. She's grown. She could take care of herself. Sit down. Frego sits back down in his chair, takes a sip of his drink, never took his eyes off of his sister, Serafina. Frego starts again. Ah, you what? Thriller interrupts. Let Serafina do what she wants. Your sister is always cooped up in the house anyways. She doesn't need her little brother up her ass too. You did just kill her boyfriend. Don't you think that was enough? Let her mingle. She's okay. Back at the bar, the tension was building. Serafina dashed Keon in the face with the liquor glass. His eyes burnt from the alcohol. He turned to slap her, but Wyatt jumped in the way. Wyatt demanded, not tonight, drop. Chill, brother. This is a lady. Serafina spits right in Keon's face. <laughs> Fuck you. At one swift motion, Serafina pulls out her switchblade. I dare you. Come on. Do it. Do it. And I promise I'll castrate your ugly ass. Across the bar, Frago and Thriller are watching Serafina. Frego stands up and walks towards Serafina. Man, let me get her before it gets ugly in here. Yeah, whatever. Thriller sits back and continues to drink his drink. Frego walks up and steps in front of Serafina. Frego says to Keon, do we have a problem here? Looking back at Serafina. Serafina, is everything okay? Keon looks at Frego like he wants to take it out on him. Yeah, somebody need to come save this bitch before I kill her. Wyatt hands Keon a few napkins to wipe the liquor and spit off of his face. Wyatt says to Keon, here man, tighten up. Keon wipes his face. Is this your bitch? She's out of pocket. Frago flashes his gun but does not touch it and looks back at Keon. The only thing that we don't need to get out of pocket is this bitch right here. Wyatt sees the gun but Keon never does. Frago continues, what's up fellas? You're not giving this young lady a hard time now, are we? Wyatt steps between Frago and Keon. Wyatt tries to dead the whole situation. Wyatt says calmly, yeah, man, everything is good. Drop, you good, right? Come on, let's finish playing our game. Sorry, lady. Wyatt grabs Keon's shoulder and walks him back to the pool table. Frigo grabs Serafina by the arm and pulls her away. Serafina is pissed. Fucking foreigners. Frigo, how the fuck some damn outsiders come to our town in our bar and you just let them disrespect me like that? Thriller walks up still sipping on his drink. Thula tries to comfort Serafina. What happened, baby? Why did you pour your lick on the dude? Girl, you crazy. Thula starts smiling. He thinks it's funny. No, fuck that. I don't let my man disrespect me. He won't either. Period. Serafina is frustrated. You know what? I'm ready to go. Fuck this dirty bar. Thula rubs Serafina's hand to calm her down. Relax. I have to meet up with Doom's people first. Get you another drink, baby. Thriller turns to the waiter and waits her to come back to their table. Thriller tells the waitress, let me get another... He looks at Serafina to finish her order. Serafina answers, cranberry vodka and gin with a twist of lemon. Make it strong, please. Thank you. 
Thriller looks at his cup and continues. And another vodka straight. No rocks, no chase. Brago looks up from the bar and sees two guys in a black suit. The taller guy had on a trench coat with a black brim. It was who they have been waiting on. Muno and Magic walk in the bar. They spot Thriller. Magic nods his head at them and start walking towards the men's bathroom. Frego gets Thriller's attention. They are here. Thriller looks, sips his drink, and says in his exhale, Yeah, I see them. Okay, let's do this. Thriller gulps his cup at once, slams it on the table, and stands up. Come on, Frego. Let's handle this. Serafina, stay right here. If we're not out in five minutes, shoot us out. Thriller and Frego get up and walk into the men's bathroom. Serafina is sitting at the table alone. She looks around the bar. Keon and Wyatt are still playing pool. They're not paying her any attention. She flicks them her middle finger and fires up a cigarette. She does not take her eyes off of the bathroom door once Thriller and Frego walk inside. Serafina sits there watching the men's only sign on the bathroom door for about 30 seconds. It felt like 30 minutes to her. This is bullshit. I'm going to my bike. I need a joint. She finishes her cigarette. Put it out in the ashtray. Fuck this. This is real bullshit. Serafina walks outside and noticed that the cute guy named Zay was gone. She lights up another cigarette and sits on her bike. Blood on my hands, dirty money, is it worth it? Stacking cash bundles, counting 20, 50s, hundreds. The world is mine, I take it how I earned it, and I did it all on purpose. I'm the king of circles, smooth is the business, yeah, I'm forever hustling. Snakes and rats clocking earnings, they be hating, they be know I'm working my life, I be living, I'm reaping my riches. I'm the king of circles. I'm the king of circles. King of Circles, novel by King Double. Thank you for tuning in. This is the end of this chapter on King of Circles, novel by King Double. To follow this audiobook series and many others from King Double, please be sure to bookmark and add us, novels by King Double. To send your love, support, and donations, you could cash app us at dollar sign King Double. That is cash app at dollar sign K-I-N-G-G-D-O-U-B-L-E. Thank you all for your support. To be our loyal friends and fans, follow us on all social networking platforms. The links are in the bio. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend. Until next episode, stay tuned. King Double.